chaps, uh, welcome back to my build. Uh, just a quick update for you, this is Friday. Um, got loads and loads to do this weekend. I've called in loads of favours from some friends uh, to give me a hand. Basically the plan is to get the wiring completed from the engine bay. Um, that involves all the front loom uh, connections uh, down all the sides, down from there and also down from here, uh, down to the back. That should be fairly easy-ish, I hope. <laughs> Lots of um, drilling and riveting and whatnot, but uh, altogether pretty good. As you can see, I've taken off the scuttle, um, dashboard, and lots of wires. Basically, I'm planning to put the engine in this weekend, hopefully, if I can manage it. <laughs> um, and that involves decluttering. So as much as I possibly could, I've uh, removed stuff. Um, Main loom, I've had a few issues with the loom, I have to admit. Um, that fog light turned out to have the um, the connections at the end here. Uh, I connected a um, illumination light to the fog light by mistake. And also, when I was testing all the other lights, I kind of forgot that I need to have earths connected. <laughs> and at the end of each of all... Oh, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> at the end of each of all these um, spurs there is a whole load of earths and the reason why stuff wasn't coming on was because it wasn't earth properly um, big surprise why it doesn't work so basically the uh, just the, the weekend is to get things earthed, connected uh, the rear I have no lights yet so I can't really earth those, well I could connect them directly to the yeah battery but I don't really want to do that to be honest anyway, um, I don't have bulbs yet so I need to go and figure out how to do that, so I might buy um I might buy a trailer uh, board and then take the light, uh, lights off that and use those. I mean, it's fairly cheap, about like 10, 15 quid. I can get some lights to test with in the meantime, which is not a bad idea, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, um, lots of faff around with lights. Um, fog lights weren't coming on, stuff just wasn't quite right, so I need to faff around. I've got one of these clever switches down here. And this switch is, you can change that centre part to whichever one you want and also change the light. Uh, that's going to be for the fog light. That's the only switch I'm currently missing for the whole car. <laughs> which is nice. So that's my dash, my one dash switch, which is fantastic. Um, all the rest of them are going to be on the stalks. Nice and easy. So there, that's a little update for you. A uh, little plan for the weekend. I um, hope you're liking the videos. And yeah, leave me any feedback or any advice. And yeah, fantastic. And with any luck, over the next couple of days, I should have a video of this baby um, in the car again. As you can see, it's looking nice as always. A few more bits connected. Um, there's a water tube. You can see. Whoops. There's basically a water tube under here, which is an absolute bugger to get to up here. And uh, here's a pain in the ass. Need the silicon, uh, silicon kind of on the outside of that. And also, uh, one of my friends gave me a hand with the sump and refitted the sump. I had um, blue silicon on there. And that's like the stuff that doesn't set. It kind of stays goopy. Um, and I wasn't happy about having goopy silicon on the inside of there with the uh, sump. So that was taken off and black setting silicon was installed instead, which is fantastic. So that basically means the engine's done. Um, apart from the cam covers, which needs to get painted, so yet again, if you know anyone, give me a shout, because I want to get this done as soon as possible, really. Yeah, fantastic. Um, need to, to put the engine crane back up, that big fella, and get him on it. Need to connect to the back, obviously, as well. Um, oh, there's just tons and tons, tons and tons to do. Um, clutch down there, flywheel down there, engine mounts need painting. Oh, it goes on. Oh, no, no, no. But so yeah, as you guys know, let's get in there. Oh, another job this weekend, whoop, is to get this painted. Not looking forward to it at all. I hate painting. Um, and I've got to paint this big thing. So hey, <laughs> wish me luck. And yeah, anyway, hopefully have some videos soon. And uh, yeah. Right guys, the throttle cable holder up here is now on. Uh, that's fantastic. I'm using the standard RB25 uh, holder. Uh, slightly cut down and slightly modified, but not too much. Uh, I'd like to say I originally planned it that way, but it just happened and it was absolutely perfect, so I can't complain. 
Um, as you can see here, it's a fantastic fit. <laughs> I cannot complain at all. Uh, as you can see with the focal here, it fits perfectly into there. I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. So that's wonderful. That's all on. That's one less thing I have to worry about. Um, this is just on temporarily to get this right whilst I'm messing around. That'll come off soon when I put the engine in. Right, down here we have the um, engine mount. Uh, one side, well, both sides are all painted now and not installed. Up here we have the water channel which connects the uh, intake manifold together. Um, that's all installed. Also removed the sump and regasketed it, if that's even a word. Um, it had the blue silicon on there, which was rubbish, and it just doesn't set. And I was worried about having kind of unset blue silicon in oil floating around in the tank, so I took it off and redid it with black uh, silicon, which sets nice and hard. So that's sorted. Right, uh, I would like to say I've installed this, but it's not installed yet. I'm missing a rubber o-ring in there which you need to find uh, also missing three of the mounts which fit on the inside of here as well once I found those three that will be finally fitted when finished over this side we've got the intake for the turbo that's all installed uh, gaskets on it and stuff so that's all fine yep engine mount down there as well apart from that the crank angle sensor is just in place currently um, I'll be installing the cam covers at some point when I put the engine in to stop things falling in. Uh, but for the time being, they're not painted. So yeah, if you know anyone, give me a shout. I need to get that painted as soon as possible, please. So if you know any people which are really good at powder coating and can do good rates, uh, please let me know. Uh, apart from that, the engine is, I'd like to say, finished. <laughs> More or less. Uh, I still have to install the flywheel and clutch on the back. Yep, down here, uh, but I have the bolts ready for that to go. Um, flywheel down there, clutch down there, um, plates and stuff all ready to go. So that's all fine. Um, next job for tomorrow will be for me to get my house in gear and get this front loom all riveted and kind of attached. Sim the other side as well. That needs to be finalised and installed. Um, got a load of earths down here which need stripping down and connecting and soldering properly. Plan is to get those stripped and soldered onto one of these. Whoop. There we are, one of these jobs. And that'll be uh, just bolted to the body uh, using the chassis and earth. Uh, it's 2 mil wall. Um, chassis, so that should be good enough connection for it. If not, I can always, yeah, figure something else out. But uh, yeah, apart from that, the, basically the the gist is to get this all finished, engine bay wise. Uh, got my washer bottle, washer bottle. That's the wrong one. <laughs> got my reservoir bottle for the brakes. Um, plan is to get that down in here, nice and neat and flush. Um, that'd be fantastic. Possibly. Another one here, if it fits, for the clutch. Um, yeah, not too sure where it's going to go really, but uh, that's good. Right. <sighs> What's that? Fourth light switch. That's the only switch I need, um, apart from the ones on the steering column. So that's fantastic. That's nice and done. Um, sorted. Uh, as you can see, I've taken the battery off and taken a lot of the wiring apart, uh, mainly because I had a few little issues which I need to fix out. Um, Came to the conclusion there's no point me carrying on until I've got all the wiring installed fully and earthed. <laughs> until then I just can't tell what's going on. Need to get some lights for the rear as well. Um, tempted, tempted by myself a trailer board and use the trailer board lights for the rear just to test things to make sure everything works. I have the fronts already as you can probably see in previous videos. I have indicators already. I don't have repeaters but I'll just use a bulb holder and a bulb for that. And that'll be all the um, lights there, really. That'll be all finished, so I have to test things properly. Um, with the engine installed, I can test the starter motor, I can test, well, I'll test everything else, really. Uh, I have all the wiring looms over there, behind those rags. Um, I have, well, everything, really. <laughs> I think I have everything. Um, but yeah, main thing, really, is to get the engine installed. 
and once I've finalised the wiring and I know the wiring is working, I can start putting aluminium panels in here, making it all look nice and neat and smart. Once that's done, well, happy days. That'll be, uh, yeah, finishing time. <laughs> well, just apart from that, that's good. Um, yeah, fantastic stuff. It's all getting along there. It's just a case of moving on really and getting things rolling. I plan to have the engine in by fr uh, Sunday. I've called in favours from friends and hopefully I'll be having some hand over the weekend. Um, hopefully, we'll soon find out and see how it goes. But I need to get the gearbox painted and installed. I need to buy some gearbox belts tomorrow. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll be good. Anyway, expect another video probably on Saturday, no, Sunday evening, straight Monday evening. And yeah, great stuff. Any questions, give me a shout and I look forward to yeah, answering them. Thanks guys, and I'll uh, catch you later. Bye! And here we are, Sunday morning. Um, hopefully going to get a lot done today. I'll try and do some videos during the day if I can. Uh, as you can see, the engine is put together fully now. Uh, cam covers are on. Uh, only temporarily, because uh, I need to get them painted. Uh, but as you can see, they're there. Looks really big and beefy and chunky, which is how I like it. A bit like me, beefy and chunky. <coughs> so that's awesome. It's looking proper smart, can't complain at all. Uh, gearbox down here, painted by Sam yesterday, he popped round and uh, spared me six hours hours of his time. So, nice work mate, thank you very much. Uh, diff painted as well. What else we got done? Oh, plates for the, what do you call it? Uh, back of the bell housing, which is fantastic. Um, all wires in engine bay now rooted and earthed. So all those wires are all done. It goes up there and underneath there. All the wires come out here. It's fantastic. Can I have a aluminium sheet with a rubber rubber gland there with all the wires going through it? So that's going to be lovely. What else is there? That's it, really. Doesn't seem like much. <laughs> but that's it. Um, today I shall be sticking the engine into here. Uh, I need to install the flywheel, install the clutch, uh, install the gearbox, and then once all that's done, I need to get the engine crane up and running and basically start getting the engine in. Hopefully a couple of mates should be coming over to give me a hand. Um, if not, I'll have to do it myself. I don't really want to do it myself because it's a bit of a tricky trying to get the gearbox in. Um, yeah, so hopefully I should have a couple of guys coming over today if I'm lucky. Anyway, I shall upload some more videos a bit later and hopefully uh, yeah, you'll see some progress. See you later. Bye! The uh, flywheel is loosely bolted on uh, as you can see, the engine is currently not on the stand. It's floating on my engine crane. Hopefully it won't fall off. Um, <laughs> yeah, so there we are. Fantastic. Any luck soon, we should be able to get the uh, gearbox bolted on. And after that, we should be able to get the car... Well, engine in the car. Fantastic news. Anyway, um, more updates later. Right, guys. Here is my bodge job clutch alignment tool. Um, I have to admit, it's a bit bodged together. Sorry about my dirty hands. Um, but yeah, it works. <laughs> so, hand little tip, two sockets back to back, one will tape on the small end, one will tape on the fat end, and that fits in the clutch perfectly. It's all nicely, nicely fits in there and it goes in the back of the um, spigot bearing. So yeah, nice little handy tip. And here we have the uh, gearbox installed. Ta-da! Clutch alignment worked really well. Took seconds to get it on, which is fantastic. Nice to know. Sometimes bodge jobs are good jobs. <laughs> and there, there we are. Awesome. It's now ready to stick in the car. Uh, all I need to do now is get some friends over to give me a hand, and there we are. Hopefully, you'll have a video of it up soon. Right, the engine's almost in. Um, just doing it by myself so far. Um, yeah, it's pretty close to being in place. The gearbox is down there. Almost, almost right. Um, let's have a look. Whereas the engine is pretty close. The engine mounts are about two inches off. This side is quite high in comparison because it hasn't levelled out yet. But yeah, it's uh, it's getting there. Um, decided not to wait for my mates because they're taking ages. Wanted to get on with it, so I've got this far by myself. Hopefully, when they arrive, we can get the actual mounts installed. 
And well guys, here we have it. The engine is in. Fantastic. As you can see, the radiator and intercooler have been put in place, uh, which is quite smart. Engine is in. I managed to do it by myself, which is awesome. Um, I had one friend come around at the very end to tap with the engine mounts, but apart from that, there we are. Finished product, kind of. <laughs> Need to get the cam covers painted still, um, as per my last video. But there we are. It's a bit of a tight fit. Turbo has plenty of space around it. It's almost, well, designed to fit, really. It's absolutely fantastic. This side, um, the intake manifold is a bit close, but there is space there, which is fine. The only bit which is close here is that plug, um, which is very close. Uh, but because the engine rotates that way, it should pull down and away, which is fantastic, rather than go into it. I'm not sure if, if it will knock when the engine's bouncing around when racing it. Uh, not too sure. But there is an alternative uh, solution, which is to get these holes for the throttle body and drill them out an extra 2 mil or a mil on each side. That will allow me to rotate the throttle body round and it will clear fine then. Um, not a massive issue, but just one I've noticed, which is cool. Apart from that, there we are. It's in place, which is fantastic. Uh, what else to show you? Yeah, all the wiring is uh, good. There's space down there, loads of wiring around here. Tubes for the uh, fuel line to come up and around there and there. Lots of space. Uh, down here, we've got the brake. The uh, brake, 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 what's it called? Brake tube. <laughs> brake tubing. Um, and that's plenty of space between there and the flywheel on the lower or the pulley, whatever it's called, which is fantastic. So all together, all my measurements were fantastic, <laughs> which was a big relief. You can see down here, wiring loom, that's the cables down there, the earthing points for these lights. Down, we can't really see it, but down there, also there's earthing points. Yeah, fantastic. Super, super happy. Um, as you've seen here before, probably, you can see the distance between the hard pipes uh, be very short. So I'm going to have a pipe literally going from here to here, leveling the shorts. Uh, blow off valve, which is going to be here, which is going to be recirculating. Um, I need to work that out at some point. And this pipe goes straight from here into there. So that's really short run pipes, which is fantastic. Which is awesome. I'm so happy with that. That's uh, one less thing to worry about, I guess. Less piping. Um, what else want I say? Yeah, that's about it, really. I'm going to work on the wiring now. Oh! Picked up a, what do you call it, water bottle. We can't see very well, but uh, yeah, nice simple one. Off a Renault Kangoo. Um, now you Americans probably don't know what that is, but it's a little kind of people carrier Renault van thing. <laughs> anyway, £10. Absolute bargain. Brand new. That's going to fit in there nice and neat, and yeah, so hopefully over the next uh, couple of weeks... I shall be getting the engine running. Uh, this coming weekend I shall be going to my parents' house, their wedding anniversary. So I'll be visiting them. Uh, so next weekend I will have no videos online. Uh, so I should try and make up for it by actually having a car running video the week afterwards. Anyway, any questions give me a shout as always. And yeah, thanks so much.